Ive. What's up, YouTube? It's been a very long time for the sound rolling peeps. I uh, thought because I was setting up some gear, might be good just to jump on. Funnily enough, I've been uh, my my brother's at uni at the moment, and uh, it's fun talking about the thing that he's doing. And I was kind of like, well, making a YouTube channel is actually really beneficial for me in terms of my learning and how I went about doing things. So I thought, you know, fire up the old channel. Finally got over 8k subscribers, whatever that means in today's uh, Bitcoin currency. Who knows? But uh, I thought I'd just come on and, you know, see who's kicking, who's about. Been doing lots of, lots of stuff these days. Uh, family life, obviously, and then uh, running businesses and and doing all, all sorts of fun things. So just setting up for a, another run of a couple of things. So hopefully you guys have had a, a good uh, Christmas and New Year. Actually, I'm going to turn the light on to uh, improve my lighting. Oh. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, we'll catch up. I don't know if I, I can still be of any use to... Uh... Hey, Alejandro. Always nice to see you. Um, yeah, don't know if my, my Q&As are actually any use these days. I uh, haven't done that much. Doing, uh, doing more niche stuff. Spatial audio, sorts of uh, random things like that. But I thought since I'm setting up all my, all my gear, and it's all over the floor, that, um, yeah, why not uh, just also go live? Be sure to catch on the gram with you. Yeah, there we go. I know, I need to start. I'm always tempted to make more stuff. I kind of think, just for my own personal reference, because uh, I will probably eventually look back at these videos in like 50 years time, but it's been an interesting evolution of the channel. Um, and starting out, obviously, just trying to learn and just share as much as I was doing, more so I could get feedback. Then after getting lots of negative feedback, deciding that I, I probably knew enough when I was good to go. New toys, new toys that I have, uh, the Scorpio. So I'm kind of weighing up uh, also getting rid of my SL6 and instead just uh, kind of uh, sticking my electros straight to the recorder <laughs> because uh, it's a pretty beast of a, of a bag mode. So yeah, I finally moved on from the 688 and got the Scorpio, mainly because I'm using lots of Dante at the moment, um, which I love as a general actual uh, uh, concept and kind of workflow. And highly recommend, if you haven't checked it out already, Ordinate, which is the company that uh, kind of set up the whole protocol of Dante and everything. They uh, have a free course. There's like three levels. Um, and you can just do level one and it's really good because it takes you back to like super super basic So it's like what is a frame? What is a da da da? And then moves you on to like understanding it So it's one of those things similar to uh, I guess chat GPT in terms of like it, Okay, it's a tool, but what are you gonna do with it? Um, yeah, I wish I had cash for a Scorpio. You'll get there my friend. That's it. I traded, you know, you keep trading up You keep you waiting for your time to strike. I have to say after Probably a good five years of not buying anything Massive and just really hold, holding out as long as I could until it was getting really painful um, Worked like a treat. So sometimes I think it's worth worth hedging I think uh, when I was kind of coming up, there was because there was such big changes going from like 788 to um, 664 and like the, the more introduction of like a true hybrid mixer recorder in a way, obviously there's always a compromise somewhere, but um, for, for lack of a better term, the, the kind of renaissance or whatever it is period of uh, mixer recorders, it's been a really good time to uh, to get involved. Uh, but similarly, I've made, um, when I first got my electros, I literally got them the, probably like two months before that first, like massive WYSICOM launch deal and everyone jumped on the, uh, the WYSI train. So, you know, you can't, you can't hit all of them. And I definitely didn't get Scorpio the first, the first time it came out because it feels like once you get to a certain point, you're at like 90, 8% capacity and you kind of think well, that's kind of good for most things so So I didn't have too much FOMO about it until I started needing more 
uh, more Dante and more uh, kind of other things like that. So, yeah, I, I still could probably do with another channel or two, but at the moment I, st I still just rent out if I don't, if I don't think uh, that I need it, need it, need it, because uh, obviously I'm doing other other things as well at the moment, which is good. So I didn't have to become that like sound rolling uh, by my course kind of guy, and I can still just uh, hang out and chill without it affecting my lifestyle too much, <laughs> which is good. So yeah, but these are always funny going, especially going live, these uh, these funny little timestamp videos. Obviously more I was doing uh, kind of just day to day, little bits and bobs of what I was doing, but um, yeah, whizzy train now. Yeah, once you see, once you get on a path with a certain type of gear, whether it's Zaxcon, whether it's sound devices, uh, there's a couple of uh, even Tascam people, Sonosax. I know a lot of people got like heavily into those. Obviously, people love the Cantar. Um, so once you're kind of on that on that train or any train, uh, it's very hard to uh, much like normal trains get on a different train. So that's quite that's quite fun. But uh, yeah, just doing a couple of podcasts this week, um, a couple of spatial things, and just uh, vibing out, really, which is quite good. I don't know if anyone has any questions or if I can be of use. Funnily enough, on a shoot um, that I was doing for like a games company, uh, one of the people came up to me and was like, oh, when I was being a sound mixer, I like followed your stuff. That's crazy. So that this is also my... Uh, a kind of nudge for me to uh, go live and at least show my face, you know, have some weird archive of a very uh, sporadic career. But uh, yeah, I want to see if I can give anything back to you guys. Still rocking the uh, MCR 42s at the moment. I'm trying to get the MCR, <laughs> yeah, the 54s. Well, see, I'm still, even with the Electros, they brought out so much stuff uh, since the SRBs. Um, so yeah, still rocking, still rocking these bad boys with the, the Cos 11, believe it or not. Um, I did have the DPAs for a while. I found it, I found it very fiddly. I know they've brought out all their really, um, like super thin ones, uh, 6060s and a few others. I had the 4071s, which were the kind of hidden ones with the boost. Um, but also I kind I know, obviously once you get to the, like the top, 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 top end, of things, it makes sense to have like a mic for every single situation and every single eventuality. But um, it just gets it just gets tricky after a while too, especially if you're uh, you know sound recording as opposed to like sound mixing with a boom off with everything else, um, and you're just doing like content and little commercially spots. Then um, it gets tricky to have everything, everything. I think maybe not, maybe not for some people. But again, mixing, mixing things with the, you know, the whole family life vibes. Um, what's your go-to laving technique nowadays? I have to say, uh, because I'm using COS 11s, I still love the RM11 mount. Uh, I think it's really versatile. I like using the um, Bubble Bee uh, uh, kind of, uh, getting all this like Joe sticky stuff off mics as we speak. Um, I'm getting, what are they called? So I use the lav concealer tape. That's my kind of go-to uh, for not only sticking on skin, but even for clothes. Not really good for like um, kind of wool stuff, um, but you can also get their uh, lav uh, covers as well. Um, and I find depending on what they're wearing, uh, that can be a good good kind of technique. So that's that's my kind of go-to. Try it, stick it with an RM11, um, and then just just kind of work work my way from there. A lot of the stuff I do, people are wearing like double layers, or it's like people in suits and ties, if it's like interview stuff. Obviously if it's a podcast, an actual podcast, I mean there could be a whole separate rant about the amount of shoots I go on that say, this is a podcast, and then you turn up and they go, I don't want to see any microphones and you're like, well, this is just a video shoot with good audio. That that doesn't sound very, I mean, I guess it's original, but um, yeah. So there's, there's that whole thing as well, which I've been 
navigating recently, but I am doing an actual podcast, as in there is no video, um, which is very exciting tomorrow, so, you know, it's kind of uh, back back to basics. Um, I'm getting those next after a time code slate. Yes, I'd be very interested in the um, the deity one, to be honest. Great price point. I've I've really been uh, liking the time code uh, boxes. I have three of them. I think I might get another three. Um, they just work really well. I think it's really weird that that app is called Sidus or whatever it's called. But um, yeah, I don't know if that's a third party thing. Maybe I'll uh, invite Andrew to have like a general deity chat or something. I don't know. Really been generally impressed with that the brand and their positioning in terms of sitting kind of in between a road and a, a road and a what? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a gen a more generalist company because then it gets more and more specific. It feels like it's a nice nice bridge. So so no, I don't really. I just do dumb slates at the moment. I always just say like, if you guys need a time code slate, I'll rent one. Otherwise. Uh, it's kind of more of a picture thing, uh, and then, um, and then they can rent it or do whatever they they want to do. To be honest, um, so yeah, what are they called? TC ones? I think I have one somewhere, somewhere here. Um, so yeah, really good battery life. Yeah, TC ones. Uh, love. I mean, I think their big genius thing was just having that cable wherever it is, the three split charging cable. I just think that's genius. I just use that in everyday life. Um, the screen protector on it, I mean, if you put jewel lock or something, that little screen protector will come straight off, but <laughs> otherwise it's been, it's been, uh, very, very solid and robust. Um, so yeah, that's generally what I'm doing with time code. Um, and then because it's so easy to sync up and stuff, then I just do, uh, one on my mixer and then just use that as the kind of master because again, they're, they're kind of, um, syncing and broadcasting uh, all the time so it seems it's been very rock solid i haven't used it for um gen lock yet or even the audio function um i tend to just stick a, a g3 on um to be able to uh get that uh, get that audio in so uh for all the people joining if you have any other questions otherwise i'm just kind of rambling for posterity and just uh to look look back on and say that I was alive and what I was roughly doing. Um, so yeah, I still have a load of G3s. One thing I really do want to do is I want to upgrade the antennas. I know loads, there was a wave when loads of people were doing it um, and getting like SMA connectors. And I think that's a genius, uh, genius investment. I think the G3 or now the G4, because they don't do the G3 anymore, um, they're, they're kind of well worth it, especially for an IEM. And if you end up with this, this was the other day when people just ripping client client monitors, just uh, people ripping stuff off. Um, so yeah, really enjoying, uh, still enjoying the versatility of the good old uh, G3s that I literally started out with. I think that's probably my oldest bit of kit, apart from the actual Peli case. And that's probably the thing that's uh, stuck around and been the most useful. Uh, having tubes for your microphones, super useful. Um, although, round ones, okay, because it matches the microphone. Square ones, much better. Kind of uh, stay still, don't roll off the table, that kind of thing. So, if you're ever, uh, if you're ever looking for one, then uh, I would recommend getting one that's, uh, that's a square. <laughs> because having them roll around, I mean, I guess you save a bit of space, but it's, uh, it's not much overall. So, yeah. Any other questions? Any other things? I'm pretty good. I'm I'm definitely more of a a, a Q and A kind of a live format than I am pre-planned, as you can tell by literally any of my other videos. Um. So yeah, I can take some of that. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the uh, Scorpio. I mean, it is quite power power hungry, but obviously it's doing uh, doing a lot more for me these days. Still got the old uh, Betso Betso uh, fins on, which is really good. So, been enjoying those, like the uh, grip mount arm that it comes with. Then what have I got? Just four Electrosonics. Uh, still using the Super CMIT and the MK41 
kind of combo for a hyper and a, a shotgun. A uh, client always really loves just being able to kind of get a little preview, especially if it's in good conditions. Again, I've, I've said this in other videos, but the um, what the Super Seaman is not good at is things like being in a, I don't know, being in a forest with rustly leaves with everyone talking, because then you, you get the proper, like, gating um, issue. Uh, because obviously it's just noise suppression kind of gated, I guess, uh, phasing. Um, so, yeah. And that's kind of all I can think of at the minute. Is there anything else coming through? What, you... uh, what cart am I using? A uh, very interesting question, because I don't actually use a cart. I do so much actual... Uh... So I guess my Peli case is the answer to that. I do um, have... Well, I do... Yeah, if I do anything where I'm actually just sound mixing, then... Uh... Oh yeah, bow ties, yeah. Are these working? Great! Great, great range. Um, but in terms of cart, uh, yeah, I have just never, I just haven't gone that, gone that route. I think I'm, I'm sitting as a general like, uh, sound like sound recordist more than a sound mixer. And I think once I realised that I wasn't going to go to the, the quote unquote top, as it were, then I kind of was just kind of happy with that. So yeah, I just kind of. Um, Put stuff on my on my pelly case to be honest uh which is still going strong the main body has been going for like 15 years or something so it's pretty exciting and then still using the orca bag which is nice um so maybe i should have a look oh a reassess of my uh my um bag bag game but something to look into later on once you get if you get too stuck on uh, all the all the add-ons then uh, you know things things soon add up if you're buying everything from like battery caddies to everything else then you can get quite a lot but I think the, my next main thing is to try and lighten things up obviously the orca is great for an actual travel bag because I have obviously everything fitting into one pelly case pretty much for most of the stuff I do. Um, so it's just super useful just to be able to chuck it in and know it's going to survive uh, whether it's a, a plane or anything else. Baggage handling. Um, so yeah. Great. Any other questions or anything else? I don't want this to needlessly ramble on. I feel like I gave a pretty solid update. Um, what else am I using? Nano Shield. Um, really, I was always a super fan of the Super Shield, uh, the kind of click mount one. Uh, this can be a bit fiddly, and parts have started like coming off it. It's not as like these bands that kind of hold the thing together. But I think it's just because I was I'm just generally a bit more rough with them. I know it comes with a case. But I'm a big fan of just getting, trying to get like as light as possible. Um, obviously, it, it then prevents the need for me getting like a massive van with everything in individual boxes that takes 700 hours. Obviously, that makes it last longer. So, you know, um, I'm just trading, I guess, my time now for things later. As, yeah, still using the 1620. Yeah, no, no, 1650, I think it's too big. 1620 is perfect for um, travel, airports, even if you fully fill it, you get it to about 30 kilos. Boom, I did fail, I did switch, when did I switch? A couple of years ago now, I went from Panamic to Ambient, and then I have the quick release, I think, from Rycote. Um So yeah, so I really like the Ambient ones, it's been rock solid. Uh, I also got the K-Tech uh, bag for it, so I have a short... Uh, panamic boom that I think must be like two me three meters two meters and then I have another one that I have the panamic one that um the ambient one that goes to I think four meters so that pretty much covers me for absolutely everything and if you slide them in the opposite way around um, then they can both fit in the same case um, there has been some times where I've slightly scratched them so I probably need to do a better job of just generally hand handling them but um 
but that's, yeah, generally that's been my go-to. And just having a short boom on hand is really useful sometimes. You never know if you're going to be in a situation where you just want, I don't know, even just a creative plant mic, just, you know, boom buddy, and then uh, kind of sticking it on if there's a two-hander um, and you just need a, a spare a spare set, then, then that's kind of the way to, the way to go, really. Um, see what else I'm kind of packing at the same time any other questions I know there's a slight delay so sorry if I'm being a bit slow to answer you're probably seeing the the chat in like in actual live and then I'm I'm there just uh, pottering about like an idiot do, 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 do. hmm what did I do Cool. Well, I think that's it. So I don't want to drag this, drag this on forever. Like I said, oh, there we go. Finding lots of useful stuff, which is good. So yeah. Well, it's been a nice update from me. And uh, what's the next project you're doing? Well, tomorrow doing a podcast. So quite quite simple. And then on the weekend doing a spatial audio for a, a rave which is good. <laughs> so very interesting, kind of 10 mic, uh, almost like a surround soundy kind of thing that gets mixed into Atmos, which is nice. So, wow, I can see myself in the glasses. Looks really weird. Anyway, uh, until a next random moment where I magically appear on the internet, uh, stay safe and uh, see you all soon. Ciao for now.